what's going on guys this is mast and welcome back to some more smite conquest today we're playing a little bit of hebo in the jungle who kind of sucks and kind of slaps it's a little weird they did him dirty a while ago i don't even remember how long ago it's been now that they nerfed hebo one into the absolute dirt early game uh let's eat the spear for no reason nice but he's still good late game he's still really good mid game really good late game but his early game absolutely sucks now which didn't used to be the case because uh, he used to do 90 base damage on his one. Now he does 60 base damage on his one, at least at rank one. And then at max rank, I think it did 290 and now it does 260. So that's not nearly as big of a deal. But the early game damage is a massive deal. When you take a three second cooldown, whoops, whoops, trolling. I thought I was dead. I just I just killed the ghost. Um, when you take a three second cooldown and you take away 33% of the damage, Believe it or not, it makes it a lot worse <laughs> when it's like what you do as a character and it just got hard nerfed. Hang on, do we? Unfortunate. He wasn't spinning, so I thought we actually... thought we got to knock him up there. Kind of sucks that we don't. I don't know if Scotty has ice or if she just has doge. I don't really know. I don't know if there's a way to tell other than Calder dashing in on shit. Get bopped! Okay, okay. <laughs> really thought he was catching me with that one. Damn. Um, I think we're just gonna chill out for a little bit, do our little boots rush thing here in the jungle. Oh, look at how little damage we do, man. Old Hebo clears that wave so easy. New Hebo leaves at 8 HP. Stop. All right, we honestly are wasting mana, by the way, hitting Thor right now, because I don't really care. We don't get value out of the poke. It's not like we're gonna win the 2v2. So, really just a waste on my part. Let's see if we get this or if we get clapped. We get one. And then we get Thor doing some big damage, and then Scotty just kind of beats his ass and we leave. Tell me you're not dead. You're not dead, right? Because I'm going to feel banished. Okay, she's not dead. Yeah, <laughs> that's not something we could fight, unfortunately. I think she thought we could, but I didn't have mana to go in there. So I guess we dip in a sec here. We get all our, our little baby harpy, and we go on back at our booties done. So yeah, our early game got absolutely hard nerfed for forever ago, honestly. I'm pretty sure this happened around a year ago. But there haven't been a whole lot of videos over the past year, so I don't think we've covered it since. So the early game is a lot worse. We're going to have to play a lot slower and really careful. Almost any assassin will absolutely trash you as Hebo unless they fuck up insanely bad. Just because that damage nerf is a massive deal. Normally nerfs are a lot smaller than this one. Um, and overall, it's not... Oh my god, my voice. I got smoker voice for a second. Overall, I think that one didn't have it. Um, it's not that crazy of a nerf. It's just this early part of the game got absolutely dicked on by, by the high res gods. Or I guess the Titan Forge gods. I never call them Titan Forge, even though that's their new name. I probably never will unless I get like, maybe I get some sort of weird partnership going on at some point, And that's like, that's part of the deal is I have to call them by their new name, but I don't see it happening, man. It just feels wrong. They will always be high res in my hearts, even though, even though it's actually the same thing and it's just a name change. So they basically are high res. All right, we're gonna just keep farming up a bit. We'll get our ultimate, ultimate still slaps. Our early game with our one kind of sucks, but our three still hits hard, our ult still hits hard. So yeah, 370, 370 base damage, by the way. Absolutely filthy. And it's not even like a cuckoo ult where it's reasonably easy to miss without CC. No, it's kind of hard to miss. We will, and, and at some point, somebody will like look back at this point in the video and be like, remember when he said it was hard to miss and he missed it five times in a row? But, but it is fairly hard to miss, so. Hang on, I think we gank left in a second. Go clap this Pele a bit. Where's she at? She on totem? Hang on, we're gonna play real sneaky. Try and bait up our boy a bit. Good. 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 Nice. Oh, we got our beads too, Pog. I don't know. I guess she, she was probably beads in Cthulhu knockup, right? Because I don't know why she would beads after I knocked her up. But, but either way, we got it. Nice, we actually one-shot those now, too. Yeah, the damage is nutty with the ultimate. Like I said, this thing hits absolutely stupid hard. It's just without it, we really suck right now. I'm coming, boys. Apollo. No, no, no. Goof a bit. Come on. Come on. I got a Dons. Nice. Damn, I, he just zoomed on him, didn't he? Got full booties done. Smack it up. All right, so we'll just farm up a little bit since we're basically Oom, um, and then dip, and then we'll work into Deso because we always build Deso on everybody. And and yeah, it's funny. I kind of want to mix up my mage builds. I don't know if it's just my personal preference or what, but I feel like every mage, people just find a build they personally prefer. 
and you mostly just keep using it over and over again. It varies a little bit. Some people are different enough, but it feels like in general builds are very burst focused right now for mages. It's actually funny. I'll look at like the thumbnails between my mage videos and they're basically the same thing. It's mostly like, did I build a jungle or did I go mid? And is there a starter item difference because of that? And that's mostly it. Mostly just uh, whether or not we have that like Bumba's hammer in the beginning of the thumbnail or not. Because I still go Deso and then I go Rod. I don't know, maybe I build Polly on him. But, but it's kind of boring, man. I wish there were more mage items that felt better at the moment. There are some builds that you do mix things up more like, oh, we need anti-heal this game. We go Divine, which realistically, I probably should go Divine. I'm not going to, though, because Hebo with Deso kind of slaps since we get practically a free one if we get a killer assist. Like, it comes up almost instantly. So. Oh, God, that's what that was. I just, <laughs> I heard noise from, like, that general direction. If he's got stun, we kill. Yeah, I heard noise from that general direction. I don't know if I can reach him, though. I think he hammers out. Or blinks out? I guess he can do that, too. Hang on, I'm not I'm not done with this. I've got an ult. I don't care that she's going on me. I'm greedy and didn't want to ult her. Nice. Uh, I'm not going to be a dick. I wanted to take Cthulhu's farm. Which, given maybe he shouldn't be taking that farm himself. He might get ganked. I don't know. But we're just going to go do our camps like a good boy. Yeah, we probably should go Divine. They've got a Pele, they've got a Ra, they got Sobek. Lifesteal exists. You know, there's a bunch of stuff Divine would be good against. But, but Deso, though, you know? Oh, wait, kill him. Uh, uh, damn. <laughs> I could have gone on the Sobek. I feel like it would have been a waste of man. I don't think they kill him. And I think specifically because of Sobek, I don't think we get to kill Ra at all. Come on, goof a little bit, boys. Just a little bit. Let me slap you. I think we're just going to run around and wait pretty much. I, we really just can't do that much without ultimate. So we're just kind of on farm mode for the next 30 seconds or so. Which should be enough time to get us Deso done, which will be nice. And Paley off to a rough start. This Paley is honestly somebody we should probably be focusing this game. Which I feel like coincidentally we have, but it hasn't really been calculated. But she had GM Border. I don't know who she is, but she had, she had GM Border. And considering it's a casual, that's probably pretty important. And she's probably the person we got to murder off cooldown. Oh, you good? Eh. All right. Let's dip. Let's get Deso. Let's go clamp somebody. Oh, it's coming up. It's coming up right now. Oh my god. Thor going Chad mode. Fenner kind of clapping him. <laughs> that was actually, that sucks they didn't kill him. That was really sick by Fenner. That's my boy right there. Just up downed on him instantly. Alright, I don't think we get to kill anybody. I'm mostly here for pressure. Oh, actually, we do get to kill somebody. Hang on, Pele. What you doing? Is she trying to invade my camps, you little shit? You think you get to do that? I love that Fenner is ganking right now, even though he's like a third HP practically no mana. She, what the, she ulted so far in advance. Yoink. Yeah, okay. That was, I, I don't know, I can't remember ever seeing somebody ult that far. It's not in advance. No knock up, now we kill her. Oh, this is a reach. That was almost really bad. Oh, I wanted to, oh, he got his hammer, Pog! <laughs> I didn't see it go off, I was trying to time it. Oh my, I probably don't need to do that as much anymore, huh? That's something I used to do because of, uh, because the East Coast ping is I would try and ta time so many things in advance. But now that we got the West Coast ping, I think if I just have it ready, I should be able to react in time. And unless he insta- if he does a little baby teleport, then we shouldn't be able to catch it. But if he tries to do the four range teleport, I think we can probably just break it. All right, um, we got a Fenner coming. This is probably good as long as we stall. Look at that damage, man. Deso is putting in work. I think he's just dead, right? He's just dead. And we bully the so back a bit. Oh, Fenner, no. Oh, damn. A little, little baby bit too cheeky. I respect it, though. If he got it off and Sobek didn't ult, I'm sure it would have been a kill.
but so like just barely CC muted in time. Oh, or he thought he ulted already? Yeah, fair enough. And so we're getting close to level 12. We're getting close to second active. I am incredibly tempted to go Bracer this game and chat it up. I don't think it's a good idea, but I'm not sure how much I care. So this might end up being a Bracer game. Blink is really good on Hebo. We only went beads because Thoral is a thing and Sobek Pluck is a thing and both of those are really scary. But I kind of want to just greed and go Bracer and just figure we don't get as much initiation, but we get a slap really hard in fights. Um, and we don't have a ton of healing, so I don't know how much anti-heal will go. We'll have to see. Rip, she got that. All right, I think we back for Rod real quick, or at least start working on Rod. Yeah, we'll, we'll try this. I'm assuming we've done this in a video before. There's like no way. I think we've done two or three Hebo jungle games before. I feel like probably 50% of my Hebo jungle games. Maybe not anymore, but back in the day, I'd go Bracer just because it's fun, even though it wasn't worth. So I'm assuming we've done this before, but we're going to bring it back. By the way, for anyone who doesn't know, because Bracer basically never gets built ever in serious games because it mostly sucks. Uh, pretty much just because anti it's normally just a worse shell, worse... What the? You're actually inting? Or did he just give up once I caught him? You that salty of a... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if he's that salty of a boy or what. Maybe he was... I don't know. It seemed a little random to int, so I feel like he wasn't actually inting. Oh, God. Oh, Apollo. Oh, he's not dead. There we go. Now he's dead. Oh, gold's already up. Look at these guys doing Scorpion. I never do Scorpion. I'm so bad about it. Given it's really not something you should solo remotely early on in the game. That's an F6. All right. I guess we go take two, boys. I guess we bring it back. It's pretty ironic that we play Hebo early game, which gets hard nerfed. And then, and then they have six at 10. So <laughs> it's going to be real funny if we struggle to get a long game against the God that is mostly good in the late game and not as good in the early game, but we'll see. All right, boys, welcome back to round two. Um, this time it's basically going to be same thing, different comps. We're going to beads for Naja because Naja ult sucks probably even more than Thoral when it comes to needing to beads it, right? Because you pretty much just... Especially on Hebo, if our ult's down and we get Naja ulted, we're basically dead in most situations. So, Bead's pretty OP, not going the early blink. Um, <laughs> I don't know, last game we didn't get a chance to use Bracer at all whatsoever. So, are you doing the one thing, Nike? No, you just, just trolling? Oh, okay, she's trying to do the one thing. I guess it doesn't reach, unfortunate. Um, <laughs> sorry, she's not, she's not trolling, she's not trolling. But, uh... Yeah, we're going beads like a boring man. We'll probably go blink like a normie. I don't know if I don't know if blink's boring. Damn, Nua slapping level one, level two? How? I'm coming, mama. Our fight still sucks, so I don't know how much we get to do, even though she got pressure. Soul's gonna heal up quite a bit. But we'll see if we get to do anything. Bob. Again, we gotta be a little bit uh, smart with mana because no pots on the Boots Rush for jungle. I think for pretty much any mage, I think Boots Rushing, unless you're gonna get slapped, is gonna be the play. Because you're just trying to get... What the? I don't know why she did that. But you're pretty much always gonna get just as much farm as possible in the early game on mages. And Boots Rush is really good for that because it's just setting you up to zoom around the jungle and be safer from ganks and stuff like that. It's really, really nice. Say, so you better stop. And we are just wiggling on everything right now. Look at that. Look at that. They can't hit a thing. All right, we're going to go grab our camps real quick. We're going to go get our booties done. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That already makes it different. Last game, did Narduo clap a little bit, I think? I could be tripping. I think they got first blood last game. So, not quite the same. But, <laughs> realistically, it's a good thing, man. Funny, it's, it's actually funny that with a lot of videos, it's ironically a good sign sometimes if the team dies early game obviously it sucks if they feed but if they can die a little bit if we can even out the teams a bit and and they don't just you know frag their roles and we frag our role it's actually great but but please no feed boys i don't i don't like that either it's a fine line uh-oh uh-oh that's probably fine by the way, that was their, uh, their Naja support. I did not even process that it could be Naja support. I kind of forgot they had a Bologna, so realistically, Bead's still good. Naja support's probably going to rotate a lot. I guess we'll go to red in case they invade it, which they already might have if they're cheeky. 
Eh. Give me gold. Thanks. But we'll see if we can keep them from doing it. And that means that... Oh, no. All right. We might be dying a little bit too much all over right now. Nike got super cheeky, went for their blue buff, even though it was probably going to be a 1v2, which it was a 1v2. So it's a little on for it. Good thing for us. I am getting super farmed at the moment. And we're going to get even more farm in a second as we go to all our camps, assuming they don't invade them all. And we could do mids too, but I want to try and make sure this doesn't get invaded if we have time. They take it already? No, we're good. Nice. Yeah, so their mid game is probably, or not their mid game, but uh, <laughs> what, do you, what do you call it? Them playing around mid is probably going to be a bit spooky because Naja Sport's going to have crazy pressure. Whereas late game, it's going to fall off a lot. So I think we want to try and be wary of that. Ironically, though, Set, especially after the, oh God, she got absolutely deleted. But set after the nerfs, not nearly as good early game. His early game was already a little bit lacking compared to some assassins, but especially now I feel like it's a bit weak. So that'll give us a little more of a chance to do things. Wiggle on him. All right. Obviously, we got to be pretty careful. We're 2v3. Naja does... Oh my god, Terra got some clear going. Naja maybe got some dead going? What the... You are so greedy? That was not the ult. Hopefully we get a kill him, man. We can't we can't really do much with the two there because he's slow immune. Burst her a bit. Nice. Damn, Nuwa did not do much there. She actually hit everything. It just didn't hit that hard. Damn, unfortunate. So this is a game where I think we're going to, at least for now, going to have to try and solo carry super hard because <laughs> Nuwa's spent a lot of time away from lane and I've gotten to soak up the farm instead. So I'm getting crazy ahead, even though everyone else is falling behind right now. And I'm hoping it'll actually work out okay. Let's yoink camps, let's dip. This game we actually are going to go Divine, by the way. They have enough healing. Soul's got crazy healing. Um, Set's got crazy healing. Naja, Zhang, Bologna. Everyone on their team has some, and then a couple have a lot. So I think it's really good for us to go Divine. And I think we'll just go ahead and rush it, even over, even over Deso, as much as I love Deso. Calabunga. Do people actually say Calabunga? If anyone's from like California or Hawaii or somewhere that surfs, is Calabunga actually something that gets said? Or is it like a surfer bro kind of thing to say where, where you judge the people that say it? I'm really curious because I can't remember ever in real life hearing Calabunga. But I'm, you know, I'm not from a surfing area, so it wouldn't make sense to hear it, you know? All right, we're going to gank the Zhonger. He looks super free if he sticks around. No backing. Oh, come... Why you got... Why is Set here? Oh, wait, was it... Oh, okay. No, there's a Najat. Stop. Nice. Good stuff, Terra. He should be dead. That was so good. She played that really, really well. I mean, she basically just pressed her buttons, but, but, but it was a good press of buttons. <laughs> Bop. Oh, whoops. Bop. Thought we'd hit the auto. Damn, that was really good. Terra's coming in clutch right now. Both fights, there's just no way we do anything without her. She's actually initiating and uh, and getting really good stuff done. Or did she initiate? Maybe she only initiated the first one, because I think I just straight up got there first, but, but she played it really well. All right. Probably try and farm up for Divine before we back. I'm not going to leech off the poor Nuwa. Because she already needs what farm she can get. But it looks like the boys are catching up already, which is really nice. Like, Uller's already back ahead of Zhang. Nuwa's already on par with Sol again. So it's really good. Uh-oh. Uh, she might be dead. Nasha never ulted last fight. But she's not. Damn, I'm surprised. I feel like, I don't know if Naja, unless Naja died in ult, which I don't think happened. I don't think I remember hearing him die with the ult animation going off. So maybe he just got spooked by the fog? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> There's the Naja ult. <laughs> They're going to bully poor Terra. Why you got to do this? Wait, was that not Terra? I think he did ult Terra. I think they just happened to kill Nike same time. Uh oh, Nuwa, you good? Not looking the best. We, we'll see if we can clean it up, though. 
Damn, she's chasing super far from me. I don't know if she had another option, but wait. <laughs> Soul. <laughs> she took way too long, man. Oh, no, no, no. I'm trying to block. Can you not insta crit me, by the way? I basically don't care what he does there because we literally saw him ult across the map, so. If he continued to crit me with that 15% chance, things might have been bad. But, I mean, what are the odds of that? Oh, no purple buff for me, huh? Might be one soon. We'll see if Zhang has words here. Uh, I think the man might have words. He is playing super spooked. Damn, I really want to kill him, too. I've got ult up. I want to use ult, like, whenever I can. But, but man's playing crazy far back. Unless Uller's just bullying him. Maybe that's what it is. But I think he probably had a little word right there. Uh-oh. I'm coming. It's already back up? I want to try and turn on the set a little bit. I held my three right there. And we're so split. Dead. I don't know if the beads will save us, but it might. Don't quite have mana, man. I'm so... Oh, no. If I had... Oh, what? How did... What? Did he land stun? Maybe he lands stun after he missed root. Let's go, boys. That was actually really solid. Somehow Set died, too. I don't know what they did to kill Set. Out. Thank you. All right. Um, Do we go Deso after a Divine? Is it still worth? It probably is for Hebo. It's probably pretty nasty. I kind of miss the days of, god, what was it, season 6, I think, where Spear of the Magus, I only sort of miss it, was super broken, and basically just gave you true damage. It was pretty fun, man. May just hit so absurdly hard in the mid-game. I've never, I've never seen anything like it. So if we go Divine into Magus, or into, not Magus, into Deso, we'll see a little bit of that, where we're shredding almost all their protections, at least, at least anybody that's not a tank. But god, man, those, those games were so fun, even though mages were just super OP. Just how hard they could hit. Bop. Nice, we got our three right there. We actually might be able to chase her out. Oh, comes up soon. It's greedy, though, because it's not up yet. But we do have a new awe. And she is doing new awe things. I wanted to bait ult right there. But we'll just do that instead. And they're honestly, I don't think he's playing bad. I don't know for sure. Maybe he is. But they're getting kind of screwed right now by by set early game. He's gotten through. I mean, he's, yeah, he's three and one. He did go mannequins, which is kind of weird. Although, I don't know. Maybe mannequins make sense. He gets so many autos off with the ult. Actually might be good. Especially because Bumbas isn't good on set anymore since they took it off the two. So it's actually harder to proc Bumbas on him than almost any character in the game. But... But because we're actually getting into our mid game right now and set early in mid game is actually pretty bad and takes a long time to scale up. Like with set, it's really if the fight continues and he gets lots of spawns, it gets nutty. Whereas we just delete people in about one second. So, so it's pretty hard for him to do much right now. Uh oh, hopefully we can clean up a little. I don't know if it's happening. Oh, that was a shit too. That was a sh I'm so sorry, Nike. I maybe could have gotten her out of that if I tuned better. I thought, I thought it was big brain. I wanted to like pave the way, but but it didn't line up to begin with. So it wasn't actually good. We do have beads here if Naja ults. All right, whatever. They're dipping, we'll dip. We'll go get our speed buff. Yeah, it's something I remember talking about when we were actually playing set is just how much it revolves around not getting instantly bursted so that you can do some crazy stuff. Which, which speaking of crazy stuff, I actually got set in a ranked game recently. I wasn't recording it, but when I got set in a ranked game... And I got my first Penta since since West Coast servers came out, which is pretty sick. Even though even though the man's gone through some nerfs, he does some crazy things. I actually almost got a second Penta. I got a quad that would have been a Penta if somebody hadn't like backed in the middle of the fight or something. So he still gets ridiculous if you get enough stuff done. But when people get bursted right away, it's hard to do that much on set. All right, Uller's dead. So I might be troll. Am I troll? You know what? I'm just going to stop. Uller's dead, he's dead for a while. If I drop purple, he doesn't get it. I'm going to be a nice guy, and I'm not going to take his purple buff. How about that? 
Like I said, this is a game we could go Bracer, but we're gonna go Blink, we're gonna Norm it out a bit. I think this game's a pretty nice game to have Blink too. It feels like there's a lot of stuff where if I can teleport in a bit, it's gonna be a lot easier to maneuver myself. Cause this Naja is just hunting me in so many of these fights, which so far it's going fine. I'm just killing him. But <laughs> as it gets later, it's gonna be harder to kill him, assuming he actually builds a tank, which he is. It should be good, honestly. Mids are down too, so we can blink through the wall. <laughs> all right, all right. I got a little too ambitious. I got just a little bit too ambitious. I was hoping we could hit everybody and in the process we hit nobody. But it's okay, because we still killed everyone. It really wasn't thanks to me, but but we did kill everyone. Well, I guess except for Bologna, but who cares about Bologna? You want to do, uh, yeah, 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 do the thing. It's funny, was it literally last game? I think it was literally last game that I was praising them for taking a Scorpion. Look at that, this time I actually am like, hey, let's do Scorpion. Already growing. All right, let's go get Rod. Well, work on. I mean, it's a tier one. I, it's funny that I say that, man. I don't know if I say it because it's what we're working into or what. But I feel like I always say whatever item we're building, even if it's the tiniest possible part of it we could build. Eh. Uh oh. This Naja is so aggressive, man. It's actually crazy. I feel like every time I see him, he's trying to kill somebody. Okay, I think Sol knows what's up, because she just booked it. So I'm pretty sure they have a ward over here. Alright, let's get some more wards up. They're on red right now. Oh, that was oh, so... <laughs> she didn't... Oh! Let's go. I couldn't angle it, damn. I got super greedy there. I didn't want to waste the three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. That's actually a good blink too. Let's see if he gets greedy though. Yeah. Why are you so greedy, man? I don't remember. He ulted, right? Yeah, he ulted. Oh, there's a set here too. Wait. Yeah, let's maybe not fight if there's a set and a Zhang. Might be bad. Should be a pretty good gank. I don't know how hard we hit this Bologna. She has some defense. She's also... Wait. She's booking it. Why is she... Does she just not care about fighting Nike? Honestly, probably the play. But we're going to get ult now, so this actually might be good. Uh-oh. I think we just get a kill set off that now. If my... Oh, no! <laughs> if my three would go off. I don't know. I didn't think it was on cooldown. I don't know if it just, like, bugged out and wouldn't pop. Or if I goofed and it wasn't actually up yet. Damn, that sucks. I played that a little bit shit. I think I ulted too soon. I wanted to ult to get distance from set. Okay, we're not gonna... We're not gonna greed. I don't have much mana here, so I don't think I can help much. Yeah, there's too many boys, Stim. But I wanted to ult right away to get distance, because I thought we might just get one shot before I even got ult off, if I either threed or... Uh oh <laughs> Uh oh Yeah, if I either threed or one and then ulted, but it would have been enough to kill Set, so it might have been a misplay, it might not have, I don't know. Damn, Hebo Jungle does so much damage, man. Once we get through the awkward early game, which, it's funny, I feel like because I talked about that, some people are going to be like, says Hebo does bad damage early game, proceeds to kill people. <laughs> but it's really like, when I'm talking about that, I mean the very beginning of the game, um, where we're just farming and not killing people, because I don't think in either of the games we've actually gotten kills there. It's pretty hard to. It pretty much relies on our mid doing good stuff. Yeah, the little potato damage stage for the first few levels really sucks. We just kind of farm through it. 
As we get later, especially if we get fed, we do some stupid stuff. Uh oh, there we go. Oh, hi! Bully him a bit. Yeah, he's getting tankier. Naja not nearly as easy to deal with right now. I think whenever we have beads up, I can be pretty chat around him, though. Because the only time we need a bead is if he actually ults. And so I can be just, I can just kind of hover on the beads whenever we're fighting him. And I don't care about the stash, but once he ults, we should be able to beads out of it in time. And uh, it'll be pretty valuable. Oh, whoops. Is he alone? There we go. There's the boys. I want to kill him, man. Got blinking it. Okay, or we beads that because we don't want to die. Kind of played that bad too. I didn't need to. Oh no, I think we're dead. <laughs> we're not dead. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god, I think somebody CC'd off Zhang. Unless his cooldowns are down. I didn't realize there was a Zhang there. That was a little greedy. We goofed a bit. Luckily, we got boys. Damn, I want to kill this set, man. I got way too greedy in that fight. Set just absolutely booked it, and I was so focused on killing him. And if I didn't play it like that, the fight would have been really good. I mean, I don't know. The fight ended up being really good anyways, because no one died until they got greedy and dove. But but it would have been better still. By the way, he went, he went Frostbound, which will either be incredibly easy for us to deal with or incredibly miserable, depending on the circumstances. Because R2 gives us slow immunity, and it slows him, and it gives us a speed boost. So it's pretty broken for dealing with slows in general. But then there's also the whole, if we don't have the two, things are going to suck. <laughs> All right. I think you might have been a little preemptive with that Najol. I think we get a kill soul here too. Yeah, goofing. Did I not see somebody? I thought I saw set. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe Najol's just super red. Thought it was two people. It's worth noting, we're not going to go Bumbas. I'm sure it's going to make some people sad. But Bumbas on Hebo, really not worth. We're basically just buying stats. Um, hypothetically, I think in Duel or something like that, hypothetically, Bumbas could be nutty. Or if you're going some sort of Bruiser Hebo, I think it could be really good. But it's crazy greedy. Hebo is one of those characters where you have low enough cooldown and enough mobility that you really want to spend your time not casting abilities, just wiggling around not auto-attacking because it slows down your movement so much. And so, Bumbas actually punishes us a lot, so I don't really want to build it. Now, we could go Chrono Spinning here. I think we'll just go Soul Reaver. I think we just keep upping our damage. Even though, Soul Reaver honestly sucks a bit right now. Oh, we should also... Yeah, set going Frostbound. I guess this is probably Shifters. We should probably build Percent Pen for, for the Bologna as she starts rotating and, and Naja actually being tanky. Oh, he's going animosity. I guess that makes sense. You can't you can't build Zhang ADC without the animosity, can you? I feel like that's the only the only cheese there really is for the most part, right? I don't think we get a killer. I do have a blink if we want to get crazy greedy. Although Bologna's TPing on in. Have some damage. Why'd he sash me but not ult me? I don't get it. Like there's spots where it's good, but I feel like I'm the person you want to kill, right? Don't three! Thank you. <laughs> that was a tough one. That relied on him not thinking that uh that we burst as hard as we do. Damn, I wanted to gank him behind the... I want to gank him behind the towers, but I think they just fight here. Yeah, there we go. Tank it for me. Whoops. Uh oh. Well, that wasn't the best. I think we still got to clean up, though. Not just stop. <laughs> I'm not focused on you right now. Oh my god, the damage. Get him. I wonder if Naja gets ult back up. That's my boy right there. Looks like not. You're welcome. That was one of the only you're welcomes I can remember that was like a genuine, a genuine you're welcome. It actually applies. Terra actually went in and get, did good stuff. I feel like normally when people say you're welcome, it's just them like doing almost nothing, but thinking they did a lot, you know? <laughs> I don't know if that's just my experience, but, but I feel like most people that use it don't actually follow through, but, but Terra did, and I respect that. Be dead. 
Hopefully we're not dead. Oh, we're so... <laughs> I think they kill her for it at least. Nice. That's fine, man. That was super worth it. We were on the absolute edge of, of Souls 2. And I think we kept... Uh, What's her face alive? New all alive by by just one shotting the man right there. All right, say goodbye to Bumba's boys. It's gone forever. One thing I want to work into some builds soon. I want to build some Mirden, but we're not going to do it on Hebo. Mirden's problem is that the first unless they've changed it, have they? No, no, they haven't. So the first ability you cast after ulting will reset its cooldown after, but it only does seventy percent damage. And the problem with that is because the first cast does seventy percent. A lot of the time you're actually nerfing what you're doing overall because on a lot of mages where you're building bursty and that's crazy valuable you're also getting so little time to get stuff off that it can actually do a lot more harm than good where it's like the ability you cast does less and then you die because they kill you while it does less and you don't get the second one off so i want to build it but but it feels clunky i think we have to do some specific cheese builds for it it's really good on a lot of guardians and a lot of guardians are not normally going to build jungle but can still go mirrored in if you want in fact i'm pretty sure i could be tripping i want to say pbm is one of the only people i've seen in the spl actually build it a bit because because pbm's a chad and he likes his cheese but but it makes sense man you can get some crazy value out of it like athena jungle is one person that i think could definitely get value out of it in the right circumstances because you can basically double taunt and it doesn't matter that much that you're reducing the damage on taunt. It's mostly just the fact that you get two taunts is crazy good. I'm coming, boys. Uh, you gonna start getting kills too, or I've been getting a lot of kills. Shut up. Oh, we clean this one up. Stop it. He is one HP. Okay, I'm trying to get to the stupid soul. Yeah, blowing a fuck off. Oh my god, I didn't think that would kill her. Nice, they actually cleaned up set too. Easy D aside. What? Can you not juke me? Thank you. I think we just take the Phoenix too. Eh. Actually, might just get an end. Do they want to end? Yeah, yeah, I guess we honestly should. We don't have creeps, but I mean, we're five people. I'm assuming it's pretty easy. Nice. GG, boys. All right, so that was our little double look at Hebo Jungle. I brought it up in, uh... <laughs> like, <laughs> Zhang's the one that's laughing. Um, yeah, the poor guy, man, he just got his animosity done and the game's over. I actually feel a bit bad about that. I feel like with picks like that, you basically play... 20 minutes in to get your your animosity done or whatever your cheese item is and then you know the fact that we end it right about then sucks so much because the rest of the game is pretty boring and it's just you're trying to get that one thing to happen and then you don't really get the chance but but yeah that was our little double feature for hebo like i said in a somewhat recent video i think we're going to do more of these where as i get games that are shorter hopefully i can get one that's short and then one that's longer and we'll kind of balance them together a bit so i'm hoping that we'll see a lot more of these in place of shorter videos. So games that are going to be 20 minutes um, might get uploaded, whereas games that are 10 minutes hopefully can get matched with something that's potentially 20, potentially 40, all sorts of different numbers. And, and that way we can get more consistent content and I don't waste as much time with, with F6 at 10s. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room, walls keep tumbling down.